welcome you to the 68th annual commencement and graduation of the Cheshire High School class of 2022. Please remain, Please remain standing and join us in honoring America as members of the CHS Honors Choir sing our national anthem. Goodness gracious. All right. Good evening. On behalf of the Cheshire High School class of 2022, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to welcome friends, family, Cheshire High School alumni, faculty, staff, and of course, Cheshire icons, Greg Letter, to our 68th annual commencement ceremony. Now, as I pray that my voice doesn't embarrassingly crack during this speech, I want you all to sit and think about how far we have all come, as students and as individuals. We did it. We finally did it. We survived our final year of high school after 12 long years. Even the people who suffered from an illness we like to call senioritis. To those of you who tested positive, just know that you're in our thoughts and prayers. But regardless of who got sick or not, it has been a crazy 1,386 days since August 29, 2018. The first day we walked into this building as little freshmen. I'm not sure about you, but I remember this day like it was yesterday. I remember confidently busting through the AP side doors, looking around with the biggest smile on my face, making eye contact with an upperclassman, and then thinking to myself, oh, good lord. But fast forward four years to June 15th, 2022, I proudly stand alongside one of the most talented, hardworking, smart, fun-loving, athletic, and accomplished classes that has ever passed through Cheshire High School. This class has left a mark in CHS history that will most definitely be hard to top, so good luck to the underclassmen. Over the past 1,386 days, we have become more than just students. We become more than just classmates. We become more than just teammates. We became a family. A family that has been through the unimaginable together. From getting booed at our very first pep rally, to the pandemic that sent us all into lockdown, to finally sitting here all together. We've been through it all as a community. To my peers, I stand here feeling beyond grateful to have spent the past four years getting to know you all. We watch each other grow and mature into the individuals we are today. This class has changed my life in so many ways. Ways I cannot even begin to describe. I've met friends that I now consider family, 
and individuals that I know I will never forget. And I can confidently say that I'm not the only one who can say that. It has not been an easy four years, but we managed to get to this point, the point of continuing our lives beyond the high school walls. So, as we sit here together for one last time and prepare to part ways, I want to leave you all with these words. This class is going to change the world. It was beyond a privilege to have spent my high school career with future CEOs, future doctors and nurses, future politicians, and the future of our world. Whatever you decide to do with your life, or whatever the world decides for you, I just want to thank you all for a fantastic four years. Thank you. to introduce to you Assistant Principal Kristen Pells to recognize those students entering the military following graduation. Good evening. At this time, I am proud to recognize the Cheshire High School graduates who have made a commitment to their country by joining the armed services. Would the following students please rise and be, be recognized. Dionys, Dionys Himalari. and Swadi Patel, U.S. Army. <laughs> Thank you for your service. It is my honor to present to you Vincent Zhu, the salutatorian for Cheshire High School Class of 2022. <laughs> I ask Vincent's parents to rise and be recognized. Vincent, congratulations. Good evening, teachers, parents, families, friends, and of course, my fellow classmates. To the Cheshire High School class of 2022, I first must say congratulations. I am so proud of, of everyone here today. It is also such an honor to be standing up here in front of you all as your salutatorian, given the amount of talented and gifted students that we have. And I want to emphasize that I am not just the salutatorian or this year's salutatorian, but your salutatorian. Because although this may be an individual award, all of my classmates, friends, teachers, and family members who have supported and inspired me throughout high school deserve as much better for this award as I do, so thank you. My name is Vincent Zier. For those who don't know me, all I am is just another member of the Treasure High School class of 2022. Although I was chosen to give a speech to you all today, don't mistake that for me, for me being special or smarter than everyone else. I'm really just another one of you. With all the speeches this year, I wanted to make sure that what I'm about to say is unique and won't be repeated by any other speaker. And so, I have decided that my speech is going to be about something that I am absolutely sure no one else here is even going to mention today, GeoGuessr. Now, I'm sure most people here have no idea what GeoGuessr is, and those that do are probably thinking about how I'm such a nerd, which I am. For those of you who are unaware, GeoGuessr is an online computer game in which by using Google Street View, you are placed somewhere random in the entire world. And it is your job to look around for clues such as signs, text, people, and buildings to narrow down your exact location. Sounds like such a fun game, doesn't it? Well, believe it or not, everyone here has played it before. You started the game when you took your first steps in the high school of your freshman year. Yes, we hopefully all at least knew where we were, but I don't think many of us knew exactly who we were. In the coming four years, each of us would find certain signs, read books and stories, meet and love new people, and explore every inch of the building known as Cheshire High School in order to find out not where we are, but who we are. I think it's safe to say that our high school experience has changed us. It has solidified our personalities, created everlasting friendships and relationships, and taught us to be the best version of ourselves. I feel so much more confident in myself and my abilities since freshman year, and hope all of you share that same feeling. I mean, take a look at our class as a whole. Even before freshman year in middle school, we were quite a rowdy bunch. We were loud, we were obnoxious, and we didn't follow the rules. 
But even back then, I saw the potential that our class had. The potential to do great things to change the world. I believed in our class because we were fearless, we were outspoken, and we were loud. We just had to learn how to be the best version of ourselves. To find our purpose and to use our charisma to be benevolent rather than disruptive. And so we all started our game of high school GeoGuessr. And through the years, we have matured and changed. We have found who we are, but we have not, not lost sight of who we were. Our class is still fearless, outspoken, and loud. But now, instead of using these traits to harass the Dodd Middle School lunch staff, we use it to support each other, to help our classmates, and to open up paths for ourselves that may help change the world little by little. So here we are now, at the end of our game, our journey, our high school experience. At this point, we have not only found ourselves, but also where we are going to next. This class will disperse. Some of us to college, others to trade school, the workforce, the military, and some may be taking a gap year. But no matter where you end up, I know your high school game of GeoGuessr has prepared you for what's next. However, this is not the end of the game. You will press that play button again, and you take your first steps on your next journey. You will once again find signs, lessons, and people that will help you find who you are and where you fit in within your new environment. And whether it be after college or even right after high school, eventually, all of us will play the ultimate game of GeoGuessr, when we are truly free to explore the entirety of the world and find ourselves. And I know each one of you will be able to achieve a perfect school. So, Cheshire High School Class of 2022, no matter where you end up, Please continue to be loud, to be fearless, to speak your mind, and to cheer for others on your paths to find yourself and change the world. Thank you. It is now my honor to present to you Tyler Tan, the valedictorian for the Cheshire High School Class of 2022. Good evening, parents, faculty, administration, friends, and of course, the graduating class of 2022. It is an honor to speak in front of you all today. I'm going to try and make the speech as short as possible because I'm pretty sure I saw Eddie over there a minute ago with his eyes closed. <laughs> we, the class of 2022, have made it through four years of hard work, dedication, and investment. I'm going to miss the long extended mass breaks, candid conversations in the hallways, all my amazing teachers and classmates, and even the school lunch food. As senior year was winding down, it hit me. What comes next? How is life supposed to expect us to leave the comfortable Cheshire bubble into a world where Vinny is not there to help us all up? Where Mr. Lesvich is not there to post on the unit calendar? Or where Greg Letterer is not there to capture our moments in time? But as my least favorite character from my favorite TV show once said, you can't cling to the past because no matter how tightly you hold on, it's already gone. Luckily, Steve Chess and my fellow classmates have taught me a few things that I think will help all of us take charge of the future and be prepared for whatever life you throw at us. The first lesson I've learned is to connect with your community. Some of you may not know this, but I used to be quite the athlete in seventh grade as part of the cross country team. <laughs> that was my first experience being on a school sport team, and I joined because why not? Long story short, I was about as fast as a sloth on Dayquil coming in dead last every practice, every meet, every event. I hated it so much that I was thrilled when I was diagnosed with Achilles tendonitis because it meant I got to skip practice. I vowed to never put myself through that experience again. And what do you know, senior year call comes around and Usopp is asking me during lunch to join the tennis team in this race. I almost said no as I got flashbacks from seventh grade, but it was my senior year. My time here at CHS was winding down, and I had to make the most of it. Joining the team actually became one of the best decisions I think I have made in a while. 
even though I forgot that tennis also involves lots of running, there is something about being a part of a team that depends on each other and makes it all the work more worthwhile. I remember this one day when we were volunteering to hand out water and gels for the Cheshire Half Marathon. I didn't care about the fact that it was so early in the morning or it was freezing outside. The team was there to just fool around and have fun, while also helping the Cheshire community along the way. While the stakes may not have been as high as match point, it is a memory I will cherish for the years to come. Whether you are on a sports team, part of the drama club, or a violinist in the orchestra here at CHS, appreciate the community this school has provided and continue to find your place in the herd. Now it is up to us to make it on our own and find our future communities. The second lesson is to stay hopeful when confronting your fears. The things I've learned at CHS extend beyond the curriculum and classroom as so many of my classmates here have inspired me in ways that I would have never expected. I couldn't think of a better example than a story about one of my closest friends. This person embraced a fear she had and didn't let it drag her down. This moment happened very recently in AP Bio to someone with a fear of dissecting a pig. That's right, it's you, Ashley. The first day she could barely look at it, let alone touch it. She squirmed every time she heard the sounds of bone cracking but she recognized the fear and worked instead on the questions that went alongside the lab. And what do you know, on the last day, I saw her finally face her fear as she brutally detached all four limbs off of her pig with a pair of scissors. We were all shocked, but I think we can all learn from Ashley. Fear is a necessary part of life, but it's up to us on what we make out of it. Going into pandemic, our class was so afraid of what was going to happen next. Our class, oh, wondering if our lives were ever going to be the same. But because of our hopeful attitudes and ability to adapt to an unknown environment, I've watched us only come back stronger because of it. So don't let your fears overtake you and plunge that scalpel deep into wherever your future is headed. The third lesson is to say thank you to the people who have turned you into the person you are today. And since I'm up here now, I feel like it's as good of a time as ever to thank all of the people that supported me throughout my journey here at CHS. Without them, who knows where I would be today. I'd like to start off by thanking my mom and dad. I have endless gratitude for how much they have sacrificed to support my hopes and dreams, and I am blessed to have people in my life that love me as much as they do. I'm also incredibly grateful to my sister Jess, who stood in this same exact spot four years ago, and who I thought was going to be in the front row today, but she's further back in the audience. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't be here without her guidance and loving support. Thank you to Vincent and Eddie for all those late night case time calls and after school hangouts. Thank you to Aaron for checking up on me when I had COVID and just being an awesome friend in general. Uh, thank you to my Physics C and AP Spanish class for making senior year all that more enjoyable. I would be lying if I said Mantra and Joanne did not pay me to shout them out. Thank you to Utsav and the tennis team for all the fun we had on and off the court. And lastly, I want to thank a teacher here at CHS who shows unconditional support for his students both in and out of the classroom. I had the privilege of being in his class junior year and I'm grateful that we still kept in touch this year to just talk about that. It's always nice to have someone you can count on to be there for this to continue in such a chaotic and stressful time. Thank you, Mr. Wilmer. <laughs> So I ask that you all please hold on to the people you're closest with because they truly really are the ones that give us the freedom to be the best for ourselves. As a recent NYU graduate once said, the best people in life are free. So in summary, here are the three things I've learned during my time here that I hope will help you guide you all as we go on our separate journeys. C is for connecting with your students. H is for staying hopeful when confronting your fears. S is for saying thank you to the people you love. What do you know when you put that all together and get CHS? As cheesy as it sounds, the answer's been with us all along. Whether we realized it in the moment or not, this is the place that shaped who we are and prepared us for the future. So please, whether you're planning on pursuing the arts, business, science, humanities, joining the military, or even becoming a global TikTok star, <laughs> don't forget the memories we shared together. Remember where you came from and go kick some butt while you're at it. Thank you and congratulations, everyone.
It gives me great pleasure to introduce this year's commencement speakers. Since this is the year 2022, we have chosen two speakers, Annabelle Kalin and Joseph Volpe as our commencement speakers. Good evening, faculty, family, and the illustrious class of 2022. <laughs> My name is Annabelle Kalen, and it is truly an honor to be able to speak to you all today as we celebrate such a momentous occasion. First off, on behalf of the class of 2022, I would like to give the most sincere thank you to all of the individuals who have supported us during our time at Treasure to the administrators, teachers, advisors, counselors, coaches, and staff, who so often take what you do for granted and don't say it enough for them. To families and loved ones, it is important to recognize how significant of a role you have played in the life of the person you are here for today. You have pushed us to be the people we are, and you have truly molded us into unique individuals. We have also been here to keep us grounded, to call us down for family dinners, or to go on day trips as a reset, or even to just spend some time outside. No matter what it was, who it was with, or how it looked, it reminded us the importance of having people in our corner to love and to love us. Parents, we don't make it easy for you, and we know that. But right now, looking out at my beautiful mom and dad, I am reminded of just how much you've done for us and how much we still need you in our who we are is because of you. So today, we thank all of you from the bottom of our hearts. Now, to the class of 2022. We did it, everyone. No matter how you did in high school or what you plan to do afterwards, whether it's college, working, traveling, going into our armed forces, or even if you're still figuring it out, you deserve to celebrate today. I know that there is no other group of people that I would rather be walking it's no surprise to us that we have a reputation of being loud, chaotic, some might say absolutely positively crazy, but hey, I just think we have a lot of personality. Although today is our last official day at CHS, there is no doubt that we will always be the Rams who pack the suite section cheering for those on the field. We will always be the Rams who pack the auditorium cheering for those on the stage. We will always be the Rams who bask in the sun on the senior walk. You say it the night before a big test just to review one last topic. Okay, maybe two last topics. We will always be the Rams that made up the class of 2022, and we will always be part of the herd. Even if it is a herd that had assigned seats along with their silent lunch at the middle school. As we close this chapter of our lives and excitedly open a new one, I want to leave you with this. There is so much about our futures that we don't know. Comforting, right? But one thing is for sure. There are times when we'll be at our peaks, and there are times when we will find ourselves in the middle of a storm. But the good one is, when you're standing in the middle of a storm, with the rain pouring, waves crashing, thunder roaring, you're not certain when it'll end. You're not certain how severe it's going to get. And even when you might see a rainbow peeking through, you're not certain that it's surely over. So what do you do? You open up your umbrella, run inside where it's safe and dry, and 
hold on to the certainty that sometime soon the sun will come out again and the waves will come. You do what it takes to get yourself out of the storm so you can dance in the palace of music. For these past couple of years, we were in the middle of the storm. Might I just remind you that not everything is how it's supposed to be. The words cohort and quarantine were never supposed to become part of our daily vocabulary. But some way, somehow, we came out on top. We still managed to make the most of our high school experience so that we could be here today and feel lucky to not have just gone to high school, but to forever be part of our land. It taught us that just like opening up our umbrellas, we must take care of ourselves because each and every one of us has so much to give. We need to remember to let ourselves breathe. And we have to recognize that there is no shame in looking out for you. We cannot become so consumed by external pressures and expectations that we forget we have a life to live and moments to enjoy. We are resilient, determined, and we are powerful, but we are also human. So whatever challenges you face, be kind to yourself and give yourself grace. Set yourself up to grow, take opportunities, and squeeze everything you can out of them, because this is it. It's time to dance in the puddles, my friends. So class of 2022, do not be afraid to meet the sun, because I promise you will stand again and stand strong with you. P.S. Don't forget to share your ideas. Thank you. So all week, I don't think I had a conversation without somebody asking me if I was nervous to come up here. And every time, I said, nah, I don't get nervous. But now I'm here, a lot more people than I expected. So I might have lied a little bit, but everybody's here to see all of you, so that's something we should definitely be proud of. Start off, hello everyone. We made it. It's an honor to be up here for such a special day to represent this class of 2022. Believe it or not, I'm standing up here because of a cookie. Actually, what was inside of that cookie. Three months ago, I stood in front of my speech class with the assignment to talk for two minutes about whatever message you may find inside of a fortune cookie. That fortune read, you are the architect of your own future. And that sparked some great thoughts within me, but what better message to share today with all of you. Throughout our high school careers, we've been dealt a bad hand, one that no other classes had to face. With the world stopping on March 13th, 2020, the second semester of our sophomore year and the entirety of our junior year were riddled with mask wearing and social distancing. While our high school experience was not typical or ordinary, the impact we have made will continue to make on this school and the world is anything but that. I always hear people say, kids are resilient and this class proved that to be true. Throughout every quarantine, every online class, and endless days of seeing our classmates, being able to see their emotions, we persevered through it all to bring happiness into everyone's lives. Without skipping a beat, we chose to take the front seat role, being advocates and leaders to change the world we were living in. With that said, we are shown to appreciate the little things in life, that we now know how easily those things can be taken. It was not until now that I so deeply appreciated a smile. Well, I just each and every one of you to see your faces light up with a grin. One of joy will now never be underappreciated. However, we also learned about failure, something that I know I'll never get accustomed to, but it's built our characters. Real life was thrown at us so quickly that we had to roll with punches. And with that came struggles. Struggles we, and especially myself, were unprepared to handle. For years, my coaches preached to me the phrase, control the controllables. This never truly hit me until trying to get through a pandemic, but now, control the controllables is my mantra live by. Whenever I see myself at a crossroad, I take 90 seconds to think before I act. Because I act within those 90 seconds, 
when natural impulses may make a mistake. And I'm sure all of you just had something come to mind. For myself, it was that time in fourth grade when the tree branch I was standing on snapped from below me. I fell ten feet right onto my back. And between breaths, or lack thereof, because I had the wind knocked out of me, I decided to have a quick epiphany and to blood. As my mom ran over to me, a nervous wreck, she started to panic. And after a few seconds, I stood up, fully intact, to see my mother's dismay transform into anger. And that was a conversation I'll never forget. But for those of you that know her, I'm sure you can think her. But Ma, seriously, I love you, and I'm still sorry I put you through that. Now, frequently, you know, I will analyze the situation to understand the controllables, the things that I can handle myself. So after months of self-discipline and a whole lot of motivational YouTube videos, I gave myself a task. Whenever I have a problem, I write down every aspect of it and read it over. Whatever of those notes I deem as something I can fix, I focus on them. And with that, I have to understand that the uncontrollables do not be stressed. <laughs> There's something that helps me every day is now what I call my problem solving. High school, however, wasn't solely filled by problem solving. The memories made within that building and this town over the last four years are astonishing. All of us have had many different experiences and taken a variety of different paths in our time. Congratulations, class of 2022. Yeah. We are all so very proud of you. Before I begin my remarks, please join me in recognizing three seniors who have earned their Eagle Scout from Troop One community. It would be enough, a sterling example of Ram pride in action. But this is one example among many and one of the many reasons why I am so proud of our high school students and so proud of the class of 2022. This field is a gathering place. It is the home of countless community and school events, a place where we've seen wins and losses, where fans have lost their voices cheering for our teams. It is a place of transition where anything is possible, where hopes and dreams happen, the fruits of hard work and effort are realized, so this is our Ramland Field of Dreams. And now it is where you are celebrating the last moments as a Cheshire High School student. Graduates, you are leaving quite a legacy at Cheshire High School and the qualities you've developed here have made your high school dreams come true. You didn't allow the past three years of change and interruption to dampen your spirit, your resolve, or your goals. You brought back B1 Day. So, the time is very near, my dears, for you to form a Daughter, to have a part in this community that you have shaped the students at Cheshire High School. I encourage you to continue to give up yourself, to engage with others, to see the world beyond yourself. It's a memento behind your graduation and a reminder that you are part of the Cheshire Public Schools community. You will each receive something special in the Being part of the community, it's about the connection. Oh. We invited members of the Cheshire High School staff to select the students that they had special relationships no. with and to write that note for your graduation. I hope your note serves as a reminder of your connection to this community and encourages you to continue to create positive communities wherever you go. Cheshire High School class of 2022, I sincerely wish each and every one of you the very best of luck as you venture out in life after Chester High School. Thank you and congratulations. <laughs> Mr. Perugini, Chairman of the Board of Education, it is my pleasure and my duty as Superintendent of Schools to certify the student candidates 
have completed all graduation requirements as prescribed by the Cheshire Board of Education and the Connecticut State Board of Education. I present to you the Cheshire High School Class of 2022. I want to thank Dr. Solon, Dr. Gab, Christine. My drive, my work ethic, my ability to listen and accept criticism helped me greatly. The latter is still evolving, I've heard ask my wife, but I got a lot better listening. I showed up to work a few minutes early before anyone else got there. I was the first to arrive and the last to leave. I volunteered for extra assignments. I went above and beyond wherever I could. These little tricks are the tricks that, as leaders and hiring managers, we look for in any profession. Um, do this little tips to separate yourself. You will face challenges and you will fail. In those moments of failure, you can choose to accept it, learn from it, and grow, or freeze and give up your pursuits. As you fall and get back up, you will build up the confidence. You'll begin to realize that the only person who's standing in the way of your success is you. If you're passionate and happy about what you're doing, success will follow. You already experienced a very challenging two years with the pandemic. We also now have more division and frustration in our country than ever before. It's not fair for my generation or myself to ask you to help make this country better. Because the adults, we should have left it in better shape. However, from my view on the Board of Education these last 13 years, I believe you can be better than some of the adults in If ever seen some of our last two years, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've seen you in action, I've seen you respond on the rise of challenges, it's inspiring. We have high hopes and confidence in you. So in summary, do something with the skills, the abilities, and the passion you have. Do better than we have. Come back. Tell us how you're doing. I may even treat you to that dish I mentioned. Thank you, and congratulations, class 2020. Members of the Cheshire, Cheshire High School class of 2022, as chair of the Cheshire Board of Education, it is my honor to officially now recognize you as graduates of the Cheshire High School with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Will the senior class advisors please come forward to read names of the 371 graduates? <laughs> Annabelle E. Kalen, Joseph Ralph Volpe, Angela Rose Adonis, Hida Ahmed, Ryan Joseph Bird. Vincent Y. Kai. Ryan Andrew Camp. Gibbons. 
Zoe Laura Goodrich. Allison Gordon. Noah Busta. Anthony Gazzo. Lennon. Liz Lentini. The next diploma will be presented by faculty member Kathy Carlucci. Emma Lepisto. Yo, Ali! What up? Lennon Lindner. Colin David. Yes. Julia Kate Takizawa. <laughs> Amelia Josephine Talese. Gabriella Rodman Talese. Tobias James Teo. Jolene Elizabeth.